Hey guys, it's Species Sam's and Dewey are back with more Dang and Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. So we are saving, picking back up from where we left off, which was we had to go try this key. That's right. So, um, what were the rooms? Where the hell were they? Uh, the headmaster's office. Uh, that wasn't one of them. It was the office and the headmaster's office. The room I need to check on this floor are the headmaster's room and the data center. Oh, that's right. The office. Never mind. Yeah. I'm dumb. The headmaster's room was locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key, I found it in the garden into the keyhole. Huh, the key won't go in. I guess that means the key doesn't go to the store. Okay. And... Oh, that's right. The data center's over here. Isn't it? Oh, no. It's over here. Data lab. Uh, the door to the data center was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. Um, okay. It fits. Then this is the key to the data center. I managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone. I immediately head back to the garden. <laughs> so you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Then we could get into the data center now? I see. Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. Looks like the door's still unlocked. Um... Hey, so when you open that door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before, right? Uh, um... You're asking that question now? Hmm. Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? In other words... It's in your hands. Again? Hmm. It means I trust you. Yeah, that's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. I love how everyone's like... Do I have to talk to them first? Cause screw that shit. I reached out and put my hand on the door, closed my eyes, and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Boom! I'm kidding. <laughs> Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. In a word, the room was... Strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? what? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. All of the rooms. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. Th this is... What? It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. It's the data center! Come on, it was locked for a reason and this is why. All the cameras in the school feed back to this room. And they're displayed... Oh, I'm totally reading the wrong voice. And they're displayed here on these monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. <gasps> To w watch us? Huh? Then this room is... It's all clear now. The Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The Mastermind's room? I guess that makes sense. So the Mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Huh? huh? <laughs> the body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba. And she was the mastermind. Huh? Then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. What? what? For, for serious? <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill them himself. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because, I mean, that body... Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was it 
that... But... But if the mastermind really is dead... Whoa! That means we can finally get out of this hellhole. How about that? We gotta hurry up and find the exit. Come on. That's enough. No, we have to check this arrow. Arrow. Yeah. Era. Area. Oh my lord. Area thoroughly first. Huh? huh? But what about the exit? Hmm. If the mastermind's truly dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, <laughs> we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. Hmm. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. What? What? M murdered? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> I mean, hmm. there's a knife in her stomach. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There's absolutely no doubt. <laughs> the mastermind was murdered. But... Well, why has it got to be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such ignorance. That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. <laughs> You. Now you do you all understand, you useless insect! You're banned from talking to Master ever again! The Mastermind's purpose, and why they were killed, this room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. <laughs> okay then, let's begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the Mastermind. Okie dokie. Let's look over here, what can we look at? Nothing. Okay, we can look at... Well, this. Why is there a... No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras. How many cameras does this place need? Good shit. Okay, we can look at the monitors. There's a really ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind's been using them to spy on us. As long as I ha have this! Huh? Look at my master go! It's like a feast for the eyes! How much is monthly membership? Okay, there's a door. I'm not going to go through that yet. Uh, there's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs. Nothing like that ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed hmm. on. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Hmm. So what can we... So we can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in! Hmm? What century are you from? The Mastermind must have been using these monitors... Uh, you be using these to monitor the network. And Alter Ego... Hmm. You may well be right about what? that. But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. Uh, and then... Something over here. Uh, there's nothing showing up on this mm. one. Huh, hey look, next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? How about that? It is! It's just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high-def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we can watch huh? TV? Huh? Did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning, Hina's here. Hmm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it! Come on, come on, come on! You know? Ha, ah, you're all starved from info from the outside world, huh? Hmm. Alright, let me work my magic and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? Okay, so we looked at everything... Is anything over here? No. Alright, so let's talk to each one of these before we go through that door. Hmm. Oh, why was the Mastermind murdered? To figure that out, we need to find out the identity and purpose of the Mastermind. Hmm. Jeez, I can't believe how many monitors there are! My eyes are flickering as fast as they are! Not that I want to talk to her. <gasps> Master's going, all around this, going around all this stuff! It's like an all-you-can-watch buffet! Gross. Just gross. So, you think you can- oh, so you think you can fix the TV? You know? Just a little bit longer. What, you really want to watch TV that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Another Saturday morning kid here! No, I just want to, like, know why they're hiding. The story's kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? No luck. Um... The door's locked, huh? What if you use the key that opened this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. No, nope, no good. We won't even, it won't even fit in the keyhole. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Hina's right. The mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know? Mm -hmm. huh? Oh! Oh, oh, oh! What's wrong? Hmm. Good news for all of you Saturday morning kitties out there. I got the TV working. Ah, really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Uh, 
freaking idiot mastermind. All you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. The and they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. Whoa. Huh? Huh. huh. This is... Hmm. I was totally doing the wrong voice. It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? Huh. That's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, you're weird! Weird in every way possible, and not just, just weird, super weird! But... But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how's it showing the camera feed? Well... Did you try changing the channel? Uh, um... Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. Here I went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just... Us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? What the heck? Hmm. Is it broken or something? Could it be... No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Hmm. Oh! A trick? What kind of trick? Actually... I'm not sure, but... Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? What? <laughs> Been a while, you friggin' bastards! The Monokuma? Huh? How? Huh? You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> Me? Dead? Don't be freaking stupid! What? Hey, you're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Of course. Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh... Not even. It's been like half a day at most. Oh. How are you alive again? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should be who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. <laughs> I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm going to laugh now. <laughs> well, now. What's that? Sing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. Huh? You can't be serious. We have to keep going. Let me out no, of here. we're supposed to get out of here. Sure. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Unbelievable. How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides, this life isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you so serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? Oh, I knew he wasn't going to be dead for long. Well, now. You know, you have to figure that they had multiple monokumas. I mean, Jesus. Phew, I pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. What the heck? But I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look at how attentive they are now. Well, then, I'm going to let you in on a blood-gushing secret and tell you about it. Hello. That TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? Huh? But what does that mean? <laughs> it's what displaying the, the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Ugh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Kills, kills, kills! This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Well, that's pretty fucking cool. What? Extreme! This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, 
I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. Wh what? Broadcast live? To the entire world? What kind of a bad joke is this? That's... It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh, the camera no. feed is being broadcast? No way! That's impossible! Phew. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode! Uh, are you being serious right now? Of course! I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. It's about to split. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries, even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? <laughs> it was all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they'd never seen before. <laughs> I became the director of a despair-based production! This is the ultimate reality show! The best in despair entertainment! What are you saying? You're lying! If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy! Uh, um... Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually... What if they already did? Huh? Yes, indeed! But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Hmm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So how could things have come this far? Well, <laughs> that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? What? Of course! Yeah, duh! There's the little business of... A body has been discovered. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Ma'am? Huh? The class what? trial? Do you mean... <laughs> 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 it's the Monokuma file! I'll leave the next Monokuma file right here! Everyone give it all you've got, okay? Heart-pounding excitement! Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out! You're in for a heck of a I ride! I can't wait! I can't wait! And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible, the truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. Uh -huh. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment? And how is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. Yeah. And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? W what are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Ikusaba was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind, Mukuro Ikusaba, isn't dead. <laughs> so naturally, that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko, and that would be why the head exploded. There's no other possibility. The body is... Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? No, it's not possible! Because... Because I don't know anything about her yet! I don't even know who she really is. To have it end like this. Oh, but I like Kyoko. I don't want her to die. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? <laughs> anyway, we'd better begin. But... but... But if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer... That's right. 
Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <gasps> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? <laughs> well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? Huh? But you just said... Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There's a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how the game works, after all. Well, shit. Well, I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The unidentified body, could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice, I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened. Or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. Okay. Alrighty, well. Okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that may be important from one end to the other. I just need to do what I always do. Well, let's... I don't think we're really going to find anything here, but... Nah, but, 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 okay. Alright, well, let's start with the knife. There's a knife lying on the ground. Is this... It must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded. The force of the explosion must have thrown it over here. The Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body from front to back. Does that mean this knife is what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this knife... It looks really familiar. That knife does not look big enough to go through a body. I mean, unless it's a sword, how could it go all the way through? You know what I'm saying? Wait, is this... That's it. It's the knife that person was holding. This is getting really weird. There are just too many strange coincidences. They saw the person grab the knife. Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. And that same knife was used to stab that same masked attacker we found here. I don't remember Kyoko wearing nail polish, though. and That person's wearing nail polish. So maybe this masked person got stabbed because... When they attacked, I was in a kind of trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife. And maybe the knife... I... And if this is really Kyoko, it would mean Kyoko is the one that attacked me. But why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. That could be kind of true, because I mean, like... I mean, obviously, I really doubt it's going to be, because we're... Uh, Makoto, so why would we die now when we've got several chapters left to go? But, you know, what if... Somebody put the mask on Kyoko and she was like coming like, hey, I need your help. And he stabs her by accident because he's like sick. I mean, who knows, you know? No, no, it can't be. There's no way. Knife has been added. Um, yeah, definitely the bottom. Wait, what's this? This is like the, sh uh, these look like fragments of something. Uh, they're all burnt, so I can't really be sure, but I feel like I've seen something like it before. Where? Wait, was it there? I have to double check that later. Fragments near the dead body. I have to check that late. Was it there? Was it where? If I check the body more thoroughly, maybe then I'll find out for sure if it's Kyoko or not. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, Kyoko didn't have a tattoo. Huh. Something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh, these are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they get in the way of normal activity. Fake nails has been added. There's also something on the back of her right hand. That's what I was thinking. A stamp or something? Is this a tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but... It looks like it's a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. Actually, that's true. Kyoko always wore gloves, so we would never have seen her fingernails. Tattoo on the right hand has been added to the truth bullet section. So we wouldn't know if she had fingernail, like fake nails or not. Uh, the upper half of the body got set on fire and the explosion is totally blackened. Also, the top half of the body is wet. Oh, yeah, for me putting out the fire. Makes sense. Uh, it's because it got set on fire and I threw water. Because I only threw the water on the part that was on fire, the top half, the bottom half is still dry. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top hat being wet. 
There isn't, right? Exploded body analysis. Okie dokie. Uh, the white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece left. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire, so I dumped a bucket. Okay, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing strange. I can't... That's it? Okay. Step away. Yeah. There's nothing else to look at. Let's see if there's anything in here to look at. Just to be sure, I should take a look at the tool shed. Um, this room is dusty and disorganized. Is this a tarp? Wait. Was there a tarp in here before? I should probably look at that. It could be related to the case. No, there was not a tarp in here before. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime, but the underside is totally clean and completely dry. One side of the tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. Tarp has been added to the truth bullet section. That's one thing here that concerns me. Uh, I don't think anything else. These flower pots have nothing to do with the case. I doubt anything else. Lawnmower. Nope. Pickaxe, I doubt. There's something carved into the handle. Uh, now it's not the time to worry. Okay. Um, and then it was just the bag of fertilizer, which I don't think has anything to do with the case either, but... Okay. So we can leave this. Leave the tool shed, yes. And we can go to the chicken coop. I remember there were some chickens. There's only four now. I count four. Huh, four? Yo! What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? I kind of knew for some reason. I was like, there's only going to be four chickens in there. Hmm. Of course, there were pre precisely five. Yeah, right? Huh? Hmm, what's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We're one short. Huh? Ugh! That's so weird. I wonder when it disappeared. Uh. I was down here just before nighttime last night. There were definitely five chickens then. What? What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Conspiracy. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Even if a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore Hero and focus on the problem at hand. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to the case? Chicken coop has been added to the truth. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's talk to her. Hmm. Listen, Makoto, do you remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Um, if I remember right, it was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach, and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. The actor said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how much blood there was in the body, I don't see any in the ground around it. Okay. Wow, thanks. That's a big help. Now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember it, it a lot better, too. So thank you, too. Uh, body before the explosion. Okay. So who does that body belong to? Whoever it is, I'm not going to look. I don't want to fafain anymore. Okay, she's useless. As always. Let's talk to Hero. Hmm. It's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and? You're serious. Oh, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember what that was. Uh, what is Akuma? Monokuma's announcement woke me up at 7 o'clock as usual, and I headed for the dining hall. Once I got there, I met up with Hina. That was right around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym, where everyone else was waiting. Next, Toko went to get the pickaxe, and that's when she found the body. What time was it then? It was 9.01. Hmm. Now then, Toko. Uh, now then, Toko, what time is it? Mm -hmm. Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. That's right, it had to have been right around 9 o'clock. You know? Ah, oh, now that you mention it, I think you're right. Hmm. So I think we can say for sure that the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job is done. That's a pretty small job. When the body was found has been added to the truth bullets. Okay. Let's talk to Twat Nozzle. Hmm. Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you, but... What do you want to talk about? So, in other words... 
I'd like to hear your alibi. The alibi? In other words. Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Um, well, I was sick, so I was asleep all night. But why are you asking about that now? What's nighttime got to do with it? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? This murder took place after nighttime. How can you know that for sure? Hmm. Because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Hiro's been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body here. In other words... So the murder could only have taken place at some point during nighttime, after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. What? Hmm. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's rooms to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. But the body may not have been there, but that doesn't mean it wasn't because there was a tarp. And the tarp could have easily been dragged and there's no blood around the body so the body was placed there it wasn't always it wasn't there the whole time so and besides it wasn't us because that would just be weird because we would already know and then we would die and we'd never be able to finish the game so in other words all four, four of us have yeah we read that the only ones who don't have alibis are me and kyoko that's right and if the victim really is kyoko then i'm the only one without an alibi <laughs> also when we go uh, when we went to get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. What? But you never came to the door. So where, precisely, were you? I'm telling the truth. I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so... <laughs> it's hardly an alibi. I know. <laughs> so, what now? You seem to be at quite the disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? The Acuas account has been added to the truth bullet section... Um... I think we've already done everything here. Uh, we already did everything, and that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, there's nothing... Okay, I think we can... No, I don't want to do that. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Step away, yes. But we've checked everything, right? Hold on. What's over here? Oh, we could check the, this. Oh, this is one of the... Oh, wait, 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 wait! This could be useful. Hold on. This is the panel that controls the sprinklers. They're set to turn on at 7.30 every morning, and Monica has said the time positively couldn't be changed. Huh, hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then if the body was here before then, the sprinklers should have gotten it wet. Which would mean the murderer must... The murder must have taken place. Sprinklers has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It doesn't matter when the murder took place. The body wasn't moved there until after 7.30. I think I've checked everything I need to in this area. But I'm not done yet. There are other areas I need to check. Specifically that fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicions. I yeah, but where? And I still need to find out more about Kyoko. Is that corpse really Kyoko? If that's true... Is it also Kyoko who attacked me last night? If I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to find out more. But the key to her room... It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. Give me the key to your room. I don't have a choice. I'll have to see if they'll let me borrow her room key. Alrighty, well, I am actually going to wrap this part up here because we are, like, going slightly longer than normal. And when we come back in the next part, I will ask him for the key to her room and we'll continue from there. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.